going on guys? My name is Josh. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're here with a brand new series. We are going to be playing a Crash Landing. And ladies and gentlemen, this series is very similar to Agrarian Skies as it uses the quest book. And um, the purpose of it is to go through our quest book and do specific things. So that's really cool. Um, the first thing we need to do though is HQM quest, I believe. Oops. All right, quest book activated, cool. And now we need to turn this up and let's open up our quest book. Hello and welcome. I am IMPA, or to be more precise, Intelligent Multipurpose Assistant. I am here to aid and guide you in surviving on this hot, dusty planet. The good news is that you seem to have survived the crash landing fine. Good job. The bad news is that the shuttle most definitely did not. Oh well. You are stuck here for the foreseeable future. Speaking of which, you might want to get started setting up a camp. Gather what supplies are left in the wreck and then see about finding water. It is mighty dry out here. Alright. Let's click to begin and let's reduce the sound again because it's really loud. Alright, basic. So as you guys can see, um, we got lives, we've got current lives, click here for more detail, deaths. Uh, the deaths on here are a little bit different, we're not on a server, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, anyway, let's go here, important information. If you die and lose the map, simply generate a new world, it will create a fresh new crash landing map for you. Sinking to a new shell may cause environment to lose track of your heart and... Hydration, leave the game and come back, fixes the problem. Occasionally opening a chest in the ruined city will crash your game. You can always just write, uh, just write back and then keep playing, though. Okay, what's going on? So that wants us to go somewhere. All right, gathering supplies. Well, I guess this is for, um, if you don't care about, so we care about the gameplay. We'll get to that eventually for the logs, um, but we'll do that in a little bit. Gathering supplies, so it wants us to get some fluid transposers. So tasks of this does not have to be handed in, I'm having them blah blah blah. Okay, that's just talking about the quest reward book. Anyway, let's look around in our shuttle. Looks like we've got ourselves a nice, what is this? Needle gun, alright, and in here, oh cool, some needle, was that some needle ammo? Alrighty, um, let's place one of these in there, because we don't need two. Let's check over here, what do we got? In case of emergency break, everything. Alright, um, we got a strong box. Oh nice. We got some beef jerky. We got a sieve and we got a crafting station Good good So we'll place that down and the first tasks wants us to get two of these fluid transposers Well, we've got them already claim reward and as you guys can see we get a camel pack two cold water bottles and a water bottle So the premise of this game is that you need a water uh, you're going to dehydrate and you are going to die if you don't get water as you can see my lower left hand corner in Environmine here gives us a little bit of water or hydration level So we use this camel pack from Environmine and we can add some water bottles to it And we'll fill up the camel pack and we can then become hydrated just by placing that on our backpack And we'll start drinking which is nice. So that's a really cool addition to Environmine And um, if you guys don't know what Environmine is I've reviewed it in the past so definitely check that out. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later too. Um, anyway, let's go back to quest book and let's check up what's in here. Looks like we got a few more things open and needs um, desperate times. Was I want salt? Okay, and the easy route, hard route, and the very basics. All right, so we'll go. Out, we'll get that. And um, let's look at these. So the hard route, we get a birch sapling, spruce, bone meal, and um, needle guns. Okay, the easy route. Oh, yeah, am I going with the easy route? Okay, um, this map is incredibly hard, so if I go with the hard route, there is no chance I will live. Like, that's just what it boils down to, there's just no chance. So, it only makes sense for me to go with the easy route, because why would I, why would I want to just destroy myself and go in? Alright, we got our sink constructor. Okay, looks like that. The sink constructor is from the sink mod. Very cool mod by iTunes. Um, basically, it allows us to do this. That's going to power that. Right click that. And it's going to create a shell for us. And what's that going to do? Well, it allows us when we die to come back into our shell and become alive again. So we'll let that generate itself. Nice. All right. Out here. Um, I don't think we have any dirt yet, do we? Do we, do we? Nope. Okay. Well, quest book. Let's go back. And, okay, there's the reward for dirt, so we can manual submit that and that, and let's grab a water bottle, and we can manual submit that, claim reward, 
more cool some bone meal so now we are going to simply go out with this um, let's place a piece of dirt right here that right there and we're going to use a little bit of bone meal because I don't think these things actually grow without dirt cool um, I do not think that there's a vein miner in here, so we got to break this all themselves. And I don't know if you can actually make tools. I think it's very similar to um, Agrarian Skies, where you only can make tools if you're given them or use Tinker's Construct. So, um, that's what I understand from it. And we don't have a sieve quite yet, or a, um, what's it called? A, not a sieve, I have a sieve, I need a, gosh, what's it called? I can't think of the name, but I know what I'm about to craft, this guy. Do 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 crook 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 cool let's get some dirt off of you or some not dirt some saplings off of you oh nice we're getting some other things so we can get some string now all right let's do as much as we can before nighttime because the first day is very stressful as you guys can tell I have um, tried out this map before so I kind of have an idea what I'm doing but as I'm doing this how are you guys all doing hello hello um, this map is extremely, extremely stressful. Uh, the way it works is really hard, and uh, you just gotta, oh man, this is a big tree. You gotta just spend time, take it slow, and um, understand and know basic Minecraft mechanics. So I'm really hoping that we could do well here for once at least. Um, and with that, cool. Now, the way that this mod works with its food and everything is that you actually will not generate um, health or over time you'll get used to a different certain diet. So you need to change up the food that you intake. How do you do, how do, you do that? Um, as you guys could see, I've got like apples, I got peanut butter and jelly, beef jerky. So I need to change that up. But let's say I just eat beef jerky for, I don't know, a couple days. Um, I'm, start, I'm not going to eventually take as much hunger or fill up as much hunger as I used to when I first started eating it. And that's because my body is adapted to it and I need something else to eat. So that's a really cool addition, which also makes this map even harder. That's why uh, when I say it's very challenging, it really is very challenging. So we need to make sure we have a bunch of different food supplies. We can't just eat like bread and make an easy food once we get like a certain amount of bread. We got to actually be careful with that. This is a giant tree though. Let's get all the wood out of here. I want to grab some dirt or dust before we go inside though. Yeah, no vein miner. Bummer. Okay. I don't think we can make an axe, though. Alright. Wait, okay, let's grab that. Let's grab as much as we can. I guess we can come back out and we can finish, finish breaking this all down. We've got a good amount of wood now, so... Cool. Let's grab that. And... That... And that and that and then I'm just going to do a little bit of sieving or of um, crooking trying to get a few more saplings because I need 10 saplings all right let's see what we can get off of this Um, let's grab that dirt, because I'm not, I'm going to need that for a task. Two. And I guess, just crook all this, until our crook breaks. Okay, what did we get? Seven? So we're going to keep one. Let's get down from here. Oh, we got eight, perfect. Um, let's get down from here. We'll come back out later and get more. Um, but let's real quickly, oh, we got ten, perfect. The only thing is... We need, like, one more than that, only because uh, we don't want to, we don't want to die or lose our sapling. We need to make sure we always have one sapling of, like, just that kind of sapling. An oak sapling, or else we'll never have a sapling again, and it'll be sad, and we'll cry, and life will never go on. <laughs> Alright, let's grab the last little bit of this. We need to stay inside during the night, though. The night is insane. It is so difficult. Um, you do not even want to take a step outside. You will die. And I guarantee you, you will die. So let's grab as much of this. Then we need to go um, quickly break this. Let's see. Let's take about 40 or so. Five more. We should be good. All right. 
All right, that should be good. Let's head inside. So are you gonna give me some like, no, okay. Let's, oh yes, we got 10, perfect. Two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Right, one, two, three, perfect. All right, now I feel a little bit safer, cool. All right, let's take a look here. Let's bring our brightness up just a little bit so we can actually see some stuff. Let's look in here. How are you doing constructing? Nice. Cool. All right. Um, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, let's take a gander in our quest book, and we'll let the night just do its course. So we want sapping the saplings. If you guys don't know, saplings can actually get us water. Ooh, ooh, nope, too late. Not worth it. <laughs> uh, you'll see why I say too late, not worth it in just a second. Trust me, guys. Too late. Not worth it. Right, is that not just regular? Cool. All right, let's leave one of those in there. We're going to leave the other one in here as well. We'll bring that with. We'll keep those on me for right now. Um, silkworms, you can stay. Um, so one quest we want is going to actually use that and a piece of dirt. So let's use that. Do, do. Dirty water bottle. And quest book. Let's see which one is a dirty mud. Manual submit. Claim reward. So dirt and a water bottle. Nice. Oh, crap. You know what? Game rule mob griefing false. You f Did I spell that wrong? Backstash game rule mob griefing false. There we go. Um, one of the things you got to do is you got to turn the mob griefing false on here. It is supposed to be default false, but you got to just make sure, double check that it is. You never know. Um, it might be a little glitchy. All right, let's add a little bit more water, water to our camel pack. There's that. There's that. And there's that. We'll be good with that. Cool. And let's throw that in there. All right, let's take another look at our quest book. Let's see what we've got. So we've got this tools of trade. We need to go through some crook in there. Purified water. So you take that dirt water, you throw it into a... Dirt water is useful in a pinch, but for a long time, survival, you need... Fire will work nicely. Drop dirty water into a furnace. Apply heat. Get clean water. Science. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, desperate times. We can fill that out in a bit. But let's do this. Let's grab some sap in the saplings. We're going to go like that. We're actually going to head over here. That is a giant. We are going to grab... We're going to place that in there. We're going to grab one of these leadstone capacitors. Place that there. We're going to grab our 10 saplings. We've got an extra one right there. Perfect. Um, and we actually also are going to need this QDS. And we're going to place the QDS directly next to that. Then we are going to go to quest book, select task, place that in there. All right. Then we're going to configure that to output. Output like that. Cool. We're going to place that in there. Place that in there. There we go. That's what I like to see. All right, so as the QDS goes up, this should go up as well, and we should be good to go with that. So, tools of the trade, let's go here. We need to just save a bit of this. But, um, anyway guys, uh, what I was saying earlier about Environmine, one, Environmine is very, very tricky. Uh, you've got to make sure you watch your temperature, because as we go outside, my temperature and my body heat's going to go up. And we need to make sure that stays a level temperature, because we need to not die from that. Second of all, our water can go down and we can go into dehydration and ultimately we can die from lack of water. So we need to stay hydrated as well. So it's adding more aspects to your game that make it just a little bit more challenging. Um, also, unlike uh, my Agrarian Skies series, this one is not actually hosted on a server. This one is a single player world. So when I log off, the series um, comes to stops, like the world stops. So, what do you guys think about me throwing this on a server, and we can keep things running, we can keep our generating going, have things going when I'm not online. That's what I have for Agrarian Skies, that's what most people do, but I just wanted to run it through you guys before I actually talk to the A6 guys about getting another server going, or taking Agrarian Skies, bringing that to single player, and putting this up on the server. One of the two. But, uh, just let me know what you guys think about that, and we should be good for there. Um, let's take a look. All right, we're just about halfway done with that. Did we get... We only have gotten one stone. What a bummer. It's so annoying because it needs so much stone. Um, 
Yeah, you guys could hear outside though why I want and you need mob griefing off. These guys just dominate the land. They destroy, they hurt, they they our land we would be having holes everywhere if we didn't turn mob griefing off. So we need to you guys need to make sure if you're doing this map to do that as well. Looking good. All right. Let's do this. Come on. Do 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 do. -do. All righty. Seven more, six, well, seven more now. Six more. This guy, the uh, quest should be done with for here, right? Yep. Oh, and we got ten sticks for that. Nice. That's awesome. I didn't know that there's actually an output of it. Cool. All right, that's a good way of getting water, though. Um, going like that, or also smelting it. All righty. Leave this to say. Here we go. Let's see, purified water. We can't do that right now unless it wants just... Oh, we can manually submit a water bottle. We've got a water bottle right over here. See, that's a water bottle. Okay. Manual submit. That was easy. All right, cold water and glass water bottles. Nice. That's that and that. Cool. Um, let's take a little bit of food so that we don't quite die. Oh, man, there are so many mob drops out there. Okay. We'll eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We should be good on hunger for a little bit of time. Okay, okay. Quest book. We've got that. Let's see. What else do you want in here? Anything? Well, we got these tools of the trade. We don't quite... We have enough for one cobblestone. That's such a bummer. I was hoping we'd have enough for more than just one. All right. Anyway, let's go like that. Let's go like that. And we're going to build a chest that we can use to host our items in. All right. We've got all this wood back here. If we go like that, let's make a double chest. And I'll place it right about there. That should be fine. All right. Boom, boom. 16. We got double chest. One, two. All right. And we're going to place all that in here, all of our drops. And like that as well. That as well. Should be good. Do we have anything in there? No. All right. Looking good as well. Needle gun ammo. So I think we're just about ready to continue going. Um, the only thing we need to do now, we need to get this stone hammer, which we don't quite have yet the materials for. Um, we need desperate times, which is okay. Oh, we can claim reward here. Okay. We got um, tools of the trade, which we can get very soon. Is it daytime? No, not yet. Bummer. So we need somehow a way of accessing our um, some more stuff. Look at this. What is that? What is that thing? Is that a spider? Okay, that's scary. And you got a bunch of mobs. Mobs in there. Alrighty. So, I wonder if there's a way we could just like... These are all factory blocks, so there's no way of us breaking that with our wrist hand, right? No. Okay. So we're stuck in here, guys. We're stuck. So I'm going to cut here. I'll be right back as soon as the nighttime is over. See you guys in a sec. Well, it looks like it's daytime. And um, going out here is not going to be easy. We've got to be careful. So let's kill off these spiders. Okay. One, two, one. Two. What? Am okay. Let's get some more ammo in here. Whoops. Oh, it fills up automatically. Nice. Whoa! 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 No, bro. <laughs> I hear more spiders. Alright, I think that should be good. I think we're good. Alright, let's grab as much as we can from out here, scavenge all these items. Let's see, we got some of that, we got some of that, got some of that. Alright, let's see. Any mobs over here? Nope, perfect. Uh, oh, yep. Hello.
Hey, that was a nice. All right. Anyway, let's go grab this stuff. Let's see. Do I have any more ammo left in there? All right, I got some more needle guns. Cool. That's just a regular creeper. We should be good. Okay, let's go. Boom. And but a doom, but a doom. Oh crap! Nope, we're not good. <laughs> Whoops. All right, we're good now. As long as we generate some health back, which we do. Bummer. That was that was um, a GG on my part. Thank God we didn't die. I thought I would have had that. Well, needle gun we're sticking with. Hey, is that flint? Cool. Let's see what we've got here. Any more items just hanging around? Man, look at this up here. This looks just a little wrecked. Some wreckage. That's okay, though. Let's see, that spider... Whoops. Dang it, I keep missing. It's like a direct... Perfect. Wow. That takes some, like, actual direct looking. It's no gravity affecting. And do I have a whole nother round? I do, thank God. Okay. Let's grab. There's another creeper over there. Pick it up. We're on to our last package, right? Yeah, we should be. Cool. We got some more. That... Now we can dry it out and stuff in our drying racks. Um, let's grab the last little XP we see here. Just take another little schmooze around. No running, of course. We don't want to lose hunger. Another schmooze around, anything? Doesn't look like it. Oh, here we go. Here's some more. And some more right there. Cool, cool. Alright, let's head back inside. And let's see what we can do in here. So we've got some skeleton heads. Oh, uh, do nothing to us, so that's fine. We got a leather cap, which we can throw on. We got some leather somehow. We got some string. We got some gunpowder, some flint. Rotten flesh, which is nice to see, because we can hang that there and there. And over there, and we can dry that out. And we got some bones. Okay, we can make our bone crook now, or whatever you want to call it. Dark glass, we're going to use that later. Got some dust, and some water bottles. All right. Well, let's grab ourselves just a little bit of rotten flesh. And I believe the quest wants... How much rotten flesh? Got it. Desperate measures. All right, some zombie jerky. So zombie jerky is made, I believe, zombie jerky from Hunger Overhaul. Salt, salt, and rotten flesh. Oh, cool. Let's grab that. Is this zombie? That's beef jerky. How do you make beef jerky? Salt and beef. Cool. All right. Well, we got two salts. Salt, salt. There's some zombie jerky. And what do we get for this quest? Do, 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 Some zombie jerky. Nice. All right. Oh, look at this. We've got some more, even more desperate. We've got cooked silkworm. Well, we don't have quite anything. Cooking utensils it wants us to get. Have we opened anything else yet? Not quite yet. All right, Stone Age. So, Bone Crook. Let's grab some bones out of here. Let's go into here. Let's go like that. And there we go, we got a bone crook. Now we just need to get a little bit more of our, what's it called? I can throw that back in there, shh. I don't know why I'm whispering. We just need a little bit more of our dust. I'll come back, I'll finish that off. I don't need to do that all on camera right there. Let's get the dust here. Because you know what? We need the dust. We need to get the last force. We can make the last tool. And then we need to make a furnace. So, but we're definitely getting close. And which is nice. Cool. Alright, let's grab just this last little bit so we can sieve just a tad bit more. And we should be good to go. We've almost completed a good amount of quests though. And I can't believe the last time I tried to record this, I died right after the first night. It went up, I walked outside, and I was dead. So, it's good to see that we're actually alive now. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit more progress than I've ever had. Knock on wood. Um, let's keep... How much do we have in here? 40. Alright. 41. 42. Nice. And um, back here, in here, I don't know why I'm sprinting. Are you done? Yes, our shell is completely made. Nice. That's what I like to see. Right, let's go through sieving through all this a little bit more. So let me sift through this, guys. I'll be right back in just a sec. And our sieving is complete to find eight stone. 
perfect. That's what I like to see. All right, let's um, let's actually clear out our inventory real quickly. Let's get rid of that, 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 and that. All right, let's grab a simple little one, two of those. We're gonna make a boom, boom, and we're gonna go boom, boom, and we're gonna get a stone hammer. Perfect. Perfect, perfect weapons. So once a bone knife blade and a bone crossbar. So that is actually going to need some stuff. Ooh, some stuff from... Oh, I... actually, that's very annoying. Okay. Is it? It's nighttime. Alrighty. Alright. Let's let's not die. Um, we've got wood, though. So we should be good to go with that. Let's eat up a little bit of jerky. Um, as you guys can see, the jerky ash... The jerky actually does not go ahead and give us the hunger that we need. So, go like that, and we should eat that, and that should be fine. So, we gotta just change up our diet after a little bit. Cool. Alright, let's grab just a little bit more of that. And we can make just our basics tanker construct stuff. Do do. And we're gonna go... Actually, we've got that stuff, so all we need to do is go like that. And we need a few of these. Um, one of them I know for sure is like that. That a stencil table. Um, then we need a part builder, and then isn't it um, a crafting bench with one? I believe. Grab that, and it's a crafting bench. I thought. Let's see. Do do do. Plus do. Cool. All right. Let's place them. We'll place them simply. I guess right here is fine. One. Two. Three. All right, and let's make some stencils. Let's go do 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 do. One, two. I guess we need to go like this as well. Cool. And uh, one, two, one, two. And the stencils we needed were a knife, a uh, knife blade, and a crossbar. So we're gonna go to stencil table. We're gonna go to. Is that? That's not. We need a knife blade. That is a knife blade. And a crossbar, right? Let's see if I can find one. Nope. Is that it? Guard or is it crossbar? Yeah. There's the crossbar. Alrighty. And now we just need to grab some bone. And actually, I believe we could do it just straight bone meal, which is great. Much easier for us. So we're going to go pattern plus that. Bone knife, that, crossbar, and manual detect, armor, alright, what's wooden helmets, everything there, so wooden stuff, is that gonna need oak, either that's gonna need wood or it's gonna go like this, yep, alright, there's that, there's that, there is that, and we just need a tad more, oi! We just need leggings. Let's see, I got that. Oh, let's place, what is that? I got 55 and that's got 22. Well, I guess that's fine. Okay, well, I think um, I'm just going to let it sit here and wrap up today's episode because we just need to get just a bit more stuff, but it's nighttime, too dangerous to go outside. There are just so many mobs right there. So I'm gonna wait that out and we'll be fine with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Crash Landing. I'm glad to see we've survived one night at least. Hopefully we can survive another. We need to get some wool going. Actually, do I have any string? Um, let's see. We got eight. So we need only just one more wool and we can make ourselves a bed and then we can finally miss this night. But, um, yeah guys, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.